All righty. So according to Facebook, we're live. Okay. Hey, Gary. How you doing, man? Hey, mate. How are you? So, oh, hang on. Echo, echo. <laughs> Pause that. Okay. There we go. Let me get you back on the screen here, Gary. All right. Gary from my CRM team. How are you? Good. Thanks, mate. How are you? I'm very well. Now, uh, we thought we'd make a quick live because... I was pretty excited by the prospect of partnering with my CRM sim, um, you know, basically two things that I hate doing, right? Um, and this is my personal experience being an agency owner and also working with agencies is regulatory bundles are horrible. A2P 10 DLC is horrible. Right, and the fees associated with Twilio usage are astronomical. Oh, horrible, yeah. So those two things combined, I believe, led you as also an agency owner to uh, come up with a way better solution, and uh, and here we are talking about it, my CRMC. That's pretty much it, man. Yeah. So there was a, a couple of bits and pieces that I needed to do prior to arriving here. So I wanted to just cover off what I did. Now I'm an iPhone user, have been forever. So what I did was um, I went down to, we have a, a shop here in Australia called JB Hi-Fi, which is just like a random electronics shop um, for, I think he gave it to me on sale for $69. I now have an Android phone unlocked and eSIM compatible. So that's that for me was step one. If you've already got one of these devices and please give me the clarification, Gary, already an Android user and unlocked or eSIMable or whatever. Yes. I'm in Australia. So I know there's some, maybe some geographical restrictions or whatever, but $69 problem solved, right? But if you've already an Android user, is it problem solved or is there a check you need to do? I think you can go to the website and you We've do We've got like the specs on it, but basically any Android phone pretty much yeah. will will work with this system. It, it, obviously, if you want eSIMs, there's a few things around that. Obviously, it has to be eSIM compatible, uh, depending on where you want to send SMSs to, from, depends on the yeah. plans that you need to get. So there's a few things, but essentially any Android phone, any SIM plan will work then it's just down to the carrier that you choose and the, the cost of the carrier and the plan and where you can send text messages to. So nice. Okay. So that was, that's step one. And I remember when we were actually in, when I was in the retail store that we're, that I'm talking about, uh, the sales rep on the floor pulled up the website that you were recommending because I operate largely in the U S so yeah. I was going to use a provider called Tello we looked up Tello, we plugged in the IMEI number into their thing and it was like, cool. So we just proceeded from there. And then a couple of days later, we just jumped on 10 minutes ago and we thought then we'd do the stream. So step one was complete by getting the Android phone. Some people already have an Android. I think that's an important point as well with the unlocked because you are in Australia, but you've yeah. got a SIM card now yes. from the US. So yes. you're in Australia sending numbers to sending messages to the U S with a local U S number. Exactly. Which is super cool. It is very cool. Right? And <laughs> so, no roaming fees, by the way, no roaming fees, no excess no. charges for that. This is and, all done over Wi-Fi through your Android phone. Yes. For $10 a month, $10 a month. So I remember that was the coolest part of it. It was $10 mm. and I'm on, un, I'm on, I'm on an unlimited plan. So the theory is there's a fair use policy. If you don't abuse it, if you're going to send 10,000 messages a second, you're going to get flagged. Yeah. All right. Use common sense. I'm using it for my, for one of my sub accounts. If it works well, we'll trial it with, you know, larger volume sub accounts. Yeah. I call uh, this the, sorry, mate. I call this the rule of thumb. And I keep trying yeah. to press this to people. It's like the rule of thumb. Remember you're using a phone to send text messages. Yeah. So if you think, if you can, if you're sending messages or trying to send them faster than you can like type it with your thumbs and press send and wait for a reply and then send again, you're going too fast and you're going to, you're going to have problems, right? So use it responsibly, use it properly. Don't do yeah. silly things. Um, and just 
work with it. Um, that's a good point you make. And it's maybe a little bit of a tangent, but when you run workflows that are like SMS based and they're conversational AI driven or they're automation driven, putting in delays, yep. if you want to appear as though it is a human doing the responding is really important. Instant replies flag both machines and people that it's a machine doing the talk. 100%, yep. Okay, so we got this. We eSIMed. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in. It's going to sit over here on this little charging dock that I've got, which is, a, you know, one of those. Yeah, this, it just has to be on and powered on and running, basically. Which it is now. It's done. So what we're going to do is we're going to dive into the screen share. And so I think I actually, was I already? No, here we go. I'm going to return. We're going to go screen share. We're going to go screen number. One, so I signed up. I signed up to your $97 a month plan. Um, I then went to my dashboard uh, after I've logged in. And um, I believe I, one of the first steps I did was I just made a connection with my agency. My agency is called Funnel. Yep. And I went to my devices. Yep. And I added the device. And I called it the growthable sales device. And you can see that it's like, you know, registered Android version, blah, 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 who cares? But it's registered here. So that was the second step. The third and final step was to then assign the SIM card to the right sub account. So here's one I created earlier. These two sub accounts have, they're connected. So if I was to connect additional locations, of course, would connect that uses the, the API at the agency level to fetch all my sub accounts, puts them here, you turn them on and off you go, you're connected. And then it's waiting for a SIM to be mapped against said sub account. So I wanted to just test it out for demonstration purposes. And I mapped it against my sub account called funnel, clicked save, Yep. went to that sub account and let's jump into it. So we jump straight into funnel. Like so, I go to my settings, I go to my phone numbers, and I was on a Twilio phone number. I go to advanced, I go to choose your SMS provider, and I chose my CRM SIM. Yeah, so our custom provider gets installed when you sign up for our account and install our app, basically, there's yep. when you do the connection, so... It's just yeah. installed at that point, but you just have to manually go in and select it. Yeah. So then what I want to do is I want to uh, make it the default. Yep. And that is literally it. So from that point forward, I was able to add you, Gary, I sent you a message, sup, came over here and I go, um, Think about it. You can, you can write, hey, Gary, again, mate. <laughs> Harold Smith. Harold Smith. All right. So this will take a few seconds as well, and this is an important point. So we have a few times and delays in our system too to try and make sure that messages kind of get queued and don't get sent out too fast. So you'll see this sits there pending for a few seconds. It's gone now. So now it's gone out into our system. Yep. And then... And you I heard a little beep. Yeah, I don't know if I can show my... My phone will show up anyway. So that's just oh, disappears me. Oh, anyway, you got let's it? just come up on my screen. Harold Smith. And I'll just say, um, hey. Oh, hey, what's up, H? So I'll just reply to that off of there. And then we'll see that ping in there in just a second. There you so, go. I don't know if you heard the little ding. It dings on the phone because obviously it's an inbound SMS. Yeah, you obviously set your, just scroll down, you'll see it's there. Yeah, set all your settings to silent, turn it off, no vibration. That's it, done. Done. So we just checked my billing and usage. I was spending $220 a month, which, I mean, it's not outrageous, but I mean, I don't want to spend $220 when I can spend 10, right? So I'm excited to reduce my costs by 
98 percent or something like that <laughs> it's not bad um, is it <laughs> yeah so that is it so yeah i mean um of course uh the reason for this is um i want to try and help agency owners reduce their costs because i know that you can get this kind of in inflated stack of things when you're an agency owner and you end up with Apex, grow the ball, da 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 da, da and you're like, you know, your costs and your overheads can be large, right? And so any opportunity for cost out where there's no impact in functionality is a welcome addition. So that's it, Gary. Where do we go? Um, where do we go to get it? Uh, just go to the website, mycrmsim.com. Um what yep. I'll do, this is Facebook Live somewhere. So I'll I'll put the link in the comments or something yep. when this finishes. But yeah, mycerimsim.com. Nice. Got a Facebook group as well, which is very cool if people join that. Um, heaps yep. of info in there. We have tons of information in our knowledge base. We do videos and stuff in our group as well for our users to make sure that they do understand how to use this system, like use it correctly, responsibly. Um, something yep. I just want to touch on as well. So like the cost is a factor for you that's that was like your main kind of driver yeah, yeah but there's a lot of agencies as well like you're trying to get set up and you mentioned yeah. before like you know a2p reg bundles they're a pain right yeah. Yeah. you now you're set up in in a few minutes like yeah it's the longest the the longest part of the time to get set up is turning on the phone and accepting the updates out of the box for an android phone you're like yes yeah yes that's wait true. Yeah, that's the longest part of the whole system because we set yours up in yeah. literally like it was well under five minutes and you were yeah. just kind of going around. It's the first time you've done it. Yeah. We've got um, one of our guys and I just did a call with him the other day. Actually, he's got this down pat seven minutes from unboxing the phone to sending his first text message. Nice. Yeah. Which is incredible. Like try try that with A2P or Red yeah. Bundles. Like no hope. Yeah. So it just gives you confidence as well that um, if you're using, if you're going to talk to clients, you're doing things like a DBR for a client, like yeah. you, you've got confidence you can do it and have the number running because you could sell that to a client and say, yeah, cool, we'll do a DBR for you. And then you go and try and get a number and maybe you can't get the number or maybe it takes a week to get through and three attempts and, and you're just like, it's not great for you. It's not great for the client. So you can just move forward with these things a lot faster. So speed to yeah. lead, cost, efficiency, from a um, like a speed point of view, uh, so question I have is, mm -hmm. is it one phone is one SIM card? Is that the relationship? It's one SIM card is one sub account, but you yeah. could have a dual SIM phone and you could have each SIM mapped to a different sub account. Okay, so you can do two per device. Correct. So if you had 50 sub accounts, for example, and 25 yeah. dual SIM phones, yeah, that will cover all 50. We will have um, multiple SIM capability as well. That's yeah. coming out. Yeah. Because um, at the moment it's one SIM per sub account, but we'll have multi SIM capability soon as well. Yeah. And a few other cool things in the pipeline too. We'll get your call cool costs down as well. That's next. Yeah. Nice. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. Cool. I mean, that's huge. Um, yeah, I, I could see that, like, you know, as an agency owner, be like, hey, um, you know, I mean, giving them choice is great. You know, so if you were doing like DBR work or whatever, where speed is of the essence, and of course, cost is of the essence, it's like, hey, we can use these pre existing infrastructure providers. Um, there's, you know, regulatory process that we need to follow. Uh, blah, 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 blah. And it costs this much per message, this much for every second of storage, blah, 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 blah. Or, you know, send your guy down to the shop, buy an Android device, come back and we'll have you up and running in 20, 30 minutes and it'll cost you $10 a month, right? Yeah. And you just bundle or, that into your price anyway as yeah, well. Bundle it you don't price. have to, yeah, you don't have to have that conversation about, okay, so we're going to send X number of SMSs. Yeah. Well, that will cost this much. And if they reply, it costs yeah. that much as well in... It's just like, yeah, it's done. I mean, I would even go as far as to say you could just go and get like three or four devices off the shelf, have them in the box waiting. As soon as you sign the client, put it in the post, send it to them. Or you say, hey, we're happy to. I mean, if you've got a support desk or whatever, you just basically 
um, you know, have a have a bunch of them well, sitting there like, like servers. Mind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's awesome. Um, it's late in our day, which means no Americans are online. I don't know if anybody watched this live or not, but I'm sure there'll be a few people watching this on catch up slash replay, whatever. So it gives us an opportunity to make sure that we update the comments section and the whatever with all the correct links um, and so on and so on. But they'll go to that website. There's a little, they can ask questions in there and stuff. You know, there's like a little. Help. Yeah, there's a little chat bubble. They can yeah. ask quick work and ask questions. We've got a little AI bot. Depends what, depends how that's feeling, yeah. whether it answers the question yeah. correctly or not. <laughs> uh, but they can send a message. If they send a message in, that will go to a yeah. real human. That will get responded to. If you go into the Facebook group, that's probably one of the best places you can ask in the Facebook group. People, you know, we've got plenty of people in there using our system. They'll reply, I'll reply, very active in there. Um, cool. And that's a great place to go in and find out information as well, because there are people doing things with our system that we never even thought about in our agency because we didn't do it. We were just running local um, local businesses and local SMS. And now we've got clients that are using, like we've set you up with now, like you've got eSIMs within yeah. a country to message to another country, um, which is amazing. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I get asked all the time about Australian registrations, but also messaging American phones from mm -hmm. Australia. Yep. And so, you know, it simplifies it. It speeds it right up from, you know, unknown kind of days and how many times you get A2P 10 DLC wrong, you know, blah, 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 blah. This is just, you know, a, a great solution to it. So yeah, that's awesome. It's welcome. Um, your fee for me, I think I paid, I'm paying $97 a month to my CRM SIM, something like that. Yeah. So you get 10, yeah. you'll get 10 sub accounts for that. Yeah. that you can attach yeah. that to. Yeah. But I mean, you say you've, you've covered Pretty the cost of that on like one, basically. <laughs> yeah. anyway. so, you know, I know you've got a few different accounts that you use for yeah. different businesses and stuff, so you can attach it to other ones. So yeah, it's 97 bucks for 10 sub accounts or we have uh, 11 to 50, I think is 297 or we have an unlimited plan for 497. Awesome. So All when right. you get up to that, like it's, you know, it, you can be less than a dollar per sub account basically. Cool. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, like in terms of my Twilio charges, uh, yeah, it doesn't does not take long to get a positive ROI, and I'm sure a lot of people are in exactly the same boat. So, yeah, and I mean, you've already had an overwhelming response, right? So you've already got quite a few agencies up and running, and you're only getting better and better. Yeah, um, I think we've had over over seventy agencies hopped on board in the first six weeks. Awesome, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and the feedback has been amazing. The the yeah, the system's very stable. Like we're not really having, yeah, know, not, ha not having any issues for anyone, which is amazing. We're just getting questions because people were just like, "Is it really this simple? Can yeah, I make yeah, it's easy." <laughs> and like you saw, what uh, like uh, my main goal when we set this up and we developed it in the platform was just to go like, "How do we make this as easy as possible?" Yeah. So, I mean, you showed people, but it's literally like five clicks to go through and yeah. you install an app on a phone, and you're done. Yeah. Like like there's it. no no messing around, no API keys. You don't have to do all that kind of stuff. We just connect your account, connect the phone, and click, click, yeah. done. Awesome. All right, mate. All right, mate. Well, I'm going to stop the stream. Thanks very much. Stay on because we'll have a quick chat. But uh, yeah, if you like this, um, we'll be putting all the comments and things up there. I don't think anybody's particularly watching live right now, but um, yeah, we'll put all the information in the description and the comments so you know where to go. Perfect. Um, Thanks, man. All right. Cheers, Gary. I'm going to stop here. So let's press that button.